In this example, we're going to solve a three-dimensional problem using trigonometry and also some Pythagoras theorem. This is really useful because in real life, uh, we live in a three-dimensional world. So problems are going to be three-dimensional a lot of the time. Now, in this example, the square base pyramid below has all edges with a length of four centimeters. So not only does the square have edges with lengths of four centimeters, but our slant lengths are also four centimeters. It wants you to calculate the angle between each triangular face and the square base correct to the nearest minute. So what do they mean by that? Well, the triangular faces are the four triangles we see. I'm going to color the one we can see on the right side of our pyramid. This is one of our triangular faces. And then we've got our square base, which is basically the square that's at the bottom of the pyramid. And finding the angle between these basically means if I go from my square base and angle up, what is this angle here? Okay, so you can see I've already given you, I've already drawn in a, a red triangle that can be used to find this angle. And that is the red theta that you can see here. So quite often when you solve three dimensional problems, you've got to find two dimensional triangles to, to work with. So we've got the red one, which basically shows us what we need to do. Uh, I'm going to just roughly sketch it. It's not, not the best. There's theta, and I'm going to label any sides I can find on there. And there's only one side, and that's the, the base of this triangle is two centimeters. And we can see that because it goes halfway across the pyramid, and the pyramid is four centimeters across. The other sides we, we don't know. And because of that, we're actually going to have to look for another two dimensional triangle to find one of these sides. I'm going to do this triangle in green and the triangle I'm going to use is this one here. It comes down one of my slant, slant lengths, this length being four centimeters. It comes across here. This length here is two centimeters because it's half of all the way across and then down like so. This is a right angle triangle. We'll label that side X. That's the side we're trying to find and that is also the hypotenuse on our red triangle so we're trying to find this length if I was to draw my green triangle over here this one's quite useful because I actually have two sides that I know the length of and I'm just trying to find the length of this third side which then will carry across to my red triangle and I can do it using Pythagoras theorem. The theorem being um, not c squared, sorry, x squared equals. Now, when we do Pythagoras theorem, we square the two sides. So we do 4 squared and 2 squared. But we're going to subtract it. We're not adding it. And the reason we're subtracting this is because we already know what the hypotenuse is. And we're finding the length of a shorter side. So when it's a shorter side, you need to subtract the square of each side, okay, which will give you 12. Now, finally, you need to square root this, so x will equal the square root of 12, and we're actually not going to find the solution of root 12. We're going to leave it like that because we don't want to do any rounding until we get to the very end. We want to avoid that. So x equals root 12. Let's leave it like that. Okay, now let's find theta. And we're going to do it, um, I'll, I'll do this in black actually. If we look at theta, um, root 12 is our opposite, not our opposite, hypotenuse, sorry. Hypotenuse, because it's opposite the right angle. That's where I'm getting confused. Um, opposite theta is over here, this is our opposite, and the two centimeters is our adjacent. So we don't need the opposite, we need the hypotenuse and the adjacent. Now looking at Sokotoa, so, Katoa, hypotenuse and adjacent is in the middle. Hypotenuse and adjacent. So, we're using cos. So, cos theta equals, it goes cos, then adjacent, then hypotenuse. So, adjacent at the top, hypotenuse at the bottom, and adjacent and hypotenuse, um, adjacent's 2, and our hypotenuse is root 12. All right. 
Now to find theta, we need to bring cos to the other side. So we need to use inverse cos. And in the brackets, we're going to put our fraction, 2 over root 12. There's all you're working out there. So let's bring up our calculator. And on my calculator, I'm going to go shift, oh, sorry, second function cos. I need some brackets. 2, and I, instead of a fraction, I'm just going to do divide. 2 divide root 12 close the brackets equals and here's my solution here but they want it to the nearest minute so I'm going to go second function DMS and this gives me the solution 54 degrees and 44 minutes 54 degrees 44 minutes and that is the angle between the square base and the triangular faces on this pyramid and that concludes example one